join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. Bye for nostalgia, let's go. I've got to say hello. Bob the Builder, arguably one of the more popular television shows that came out of the late 90s. First, first came out in 1998 and with a big massive explosion it came out, just like that. Um, it just took people by surprise really. Um, the merchandise sold through the roof, it had two number one singles on the charts, funny way enough that was sort of a similar thing with Teletubbies, you know. Big merchandise pull on the toys, VHS releases, number one singles in the charts. I mean, the, the late 90s was sort of something, it was. Basically, I sort of call it the plastic cage very much. I mean, with other music coming out. I mean, there's been a, there's a few good stuff in the ni late 90s. However, I sort of see it as very plastic, you know, Cold Britannia, really. Britpop, I can understand what they've done. Well, the last gasp of Britpop, pretty much. And now comes... These, uh, out comes these shows that came out, um, making them old, doing something different, which I thought was interesting. Bob the Builder saw the same. And the interesting about Bob the Builder is it's stop motion animated, it is, has an interesting voice cast, you know, got a new Morrissey voice in the Tal character, which is so good. I mean, ideal, very ideal. I mean, at that point, Member Heron Valley was so coming to an end, you know, he was still around that. He was still, he was very popular, was, you know. Member Heron Valley was so popular, very good British sitcom, doing laddism and stuff like that. You know, and he had a very interesting track record as well, starting in Boone. I think he started a few films as well at the time, you know, and it's just been so good. Yeah, you get into these sort of characters, you know, because you've got Wendy, you have Spud Skirker, who's always legendary and always. You know, sort of a legend in his own right. One of the most pop, interesting popular characters. You know, very funny. Supplies of comic relief, of course. You have Muck, Scoop, Roly, Lofty, Travis, Dizzy, Pilch the, Pilch the Cat. You know, lots of interesting stuff. You know, like interesting characters. They all just work in that TV show. So, Bob the Bill is one of those interesting TV shows that actually came at the right time for me. Because I was... So I would have been about one in 1998, so that came at the right time. Um, my parents won with the, my parents won with the toys, of course, when they came out, VHS releases, you know, the singles as well, you know. I think back in the, back in the day, yeah, like CD-ROMs, like PC CD-ROMs, or some, you know, um, you have it like, a, like it's an old CD, but you play it on the computer. Good times, good times. I feel old now. I feel really old. That doesn't happen anymore. Shame. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. I mean, you know, stuff like camera fixing Mam and the cover version of Mambo Number no. Five. You know, it's just been constant airplay. You know, it's just really interesting. And they became number ones. You know, camera fix it became what was it? Became a Christmas number one single in ninety eight, which did well. I saw sort of did well. I mean, it took people by surprise very much. I mean, recently there was a question on um, one of the local radio stations about who who sang the famous cover number number, number number five or something, and the person didn't have a clue very much, and they, met him and they said, "Oh, it's Paul the Builder." What? <laughs> I mean, the guy. I think he was sort of ta the, the call that was taken aback about you know it was just. Interesting. I mean, when you look at Bob the Builder now, it's sort of like it's still popular. I mean, with Tom Stanch and Friends, Fireman Sam as well, you know. Them three are sort of like antithesis and actually still have long staying power. You know, Fireman Sam and Tom Stanch and Friends came from the 1980s very much, and they still have a st still longevity, even though Tom Stanch's longevity actually day backs to the 1940s very much. Same with Sooty very much, you know. 
they sort of like they're still going on strong they are you know through multiple decades you know still insane children very much the thing is with uh, Bald Brothers because it was done by Hitstatement obviously we've hit buying the rights to all the other basically a big handful of TV shows and sort of doing something with them or not doing anything with them it gives it an interesting boost and it helped create some memorable TV, some t- television that is, you know, keeps going on. Even though it's worn down quite much, children's TV these days, I still think early hit sort of works. I mean, stuff I've never really mentioned on here as well, like Pest the Park Keeper, Bramley Hedge. Um, then, to be honest, I don't remember, vaguely remember watching them. Bramley Hedge especially, I don't remember watching that. Pest the Park Keeper, I remember the book. I remember reading a book of one once. Or maybe only a book, but I didn't really capture my interest with him very much. He was he was, he was a park keeper and had a he had sort of a Raymond Briggs sort of like story design design to as well, which was in, which is okay and not bad. But it didn't really caught my attention. The Bob the Builder was interesting because animation to do with construction and it was his interest the voice actually of course the humor was there. It was good. And then it got rebooted with CGI, and it became, when I first found about him, when I looked at the first promo picture, I think, oh my god, he's had a facelift, <sighs> I mean, it's, sorry, there's a long pause science there, there's a lot, I don't know, there's a nice knock on the door, but, again, that was just the reaction, I mean, think about it, god, I mean, the direction to take Bold the Builder now is, is sort of gone. Neil Morris, he's gone. He's going to do other stuff now. This whole f- he announced on an interview with Piers Morgan a few year, maybe a few a couple of years back actually that you know he's going to be le- he'll be leaving soon. Some 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 cheap guys. He said like some cheap blogs go t- is taking over or something like that. And yeah, quite shocking. And design wise, it's just oh god. It's it's aimed for a more modern thing, modern type style. I mean, but if you look at stuff like Fire and Sam, very much it's going down to that horrible, that horrible CGI type thing, very much. I mean, design wise, it's quite bulky and a bit. It's too imposing, for my liking, very much. It just doesn't work. I think, as a budgetary reasons, but also technology these days is sort of improving. I think, probably. Yeah, so I'm not very impressed with that sort of design. Okay, I'll, t- I'll stop talking about the reboot now. So, Bob the Builder is very much a ideal television series that has longevity, came at the right time, in the late 90s, sort of ideal for us, us 20-year-olds now these days. If we, we look back and think, yeah, it is amazing, all well, back in the day. When you, look at, when you look at it now, it's sort of like, hmm, not good as it used to be. But it still carries on. Like with any other TV shows, it still carries on. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Papa Nostalgia. See you for the next video. Goodbye. See you soon.